In today's video, we will examine seven common signs and symptoms of diverticulitis and discuss why they occur. Now, what is diverticulitis? Diverticulitis is a condition that predominantly arises from the formation and subsequent inflammation or infection of the diverticula. When subjected to excessive pressure over time, these small pouches can compromise the integrity of the colon's walls. Such pressure typically stems from hard stools or constipation, which is common in diets lacking sufficient fiber. As these stools move through the colon, they necessitate the exertion of greater force by the colon muscles to facilitate movement, thereby elevating the internal pressure. This increased pressure can lead to the formation of diverticula, particularly in weaker spots of the colon wall. Initially, these pouches are harmless but can become a breeding ground for bacteria. The trapped bacteria can cause infection and inflammation, leading to the symptoms associated with diverticulitis. Now that we know what diverticulitis is, let's discuss seven common signs and symptoms. The first on the list is abdominal pain. Abdominal pain stands out as the predominant indicator of diverticulitis, typically manifesting on the lower left side. Its intensity may fluctuate, ranging from a subtle discomfort to an excruciating ache. Often, individuals describe this discomfort as cramps or a sharp sensation, noticing an escalation post-meals. This pain arises as the diverticula within the colon undergoes inflammation and infection, leading to significant discomfort. The sensation is not constant and can exhibit a pattern of appearing and subsiding, which might complicate the diagnosis for those unfamiliar with the condition. However, recognizing the correlation between the consumption of certain foods and the exacerbation of pain can be beneficial in managing the symptoms and empowering individuals to take control of their health. Moreover, being aware of the characteristic pain associated with diverticulitis can prompt individuals to adjust their dietary and lifestyle habits, potentially easing the severity of their symptoms. Next, changes in bowel habits. One of the telltale signs of diverticulitis is experiencing alterations in bowel habits. This manifestation of the disease can take various forms, including the onset of constipation, the occurrence of diarrhea, or a distressing cycle that alternates between these two extremes. Such fluctuations stem from the inflammation disrupting the colon's normal functioning. Individuals dealing with diverticulitis might find their bowel movements becoming unpredictably irregular, with episodes of constipation reflecting a slowdown in the gastrointestinal transit and diarrhea indicating an irritated or overly active lower digestive tract. Furthermore, blood or mucus in the stools should not be overlooked as it signifies inflammation and potential bleeding within the diverticula or colon. This symptom, in particular, highlights the severity of the inflammation and the importance of monitoring one's health closely. Bowel habits can disrupt an individual's quality of life, leading to discomfort and concern. It's crucial for anyone experiencing these symptoms, especially if they persist or are accompanied by other signs of diverticulitis, to consult with their doctor. Number three, fever and chills. When the body's immune system responds to the presence of infection, such as the bacterial infection found in inflamed diverticula, it often results in the onset of fever and chills. These symptoms indicate diverticulitis becoming more severe, signaling that the infection may have intensified beyond the initially affected diverticula. Fever, in the context of diverticulitis, can be a critical alert that the body is actively fighting an infection. Monitoring body temperature is essential as a fever reaching or exceeding 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit warrants medical attention. Chills accompanying fever can dramatically fluctuate body temperature perceptions, leading to an increased sensation of cold despite a high internal body temperature. This response is part of the body's natural defense mechanism, which tries to elevate the body's temperature to combat the infection more effectively. Fever and chills in diverticulitis patients can sometimes precede or accompany other symptoms, such as severe abdominal pain or changes in bowel habits. This underscores the need for a comprehensive evaluation by your doctor, which can provide reassurance and a clear path forward in managing the condition. Number four, urinary symptoms. Urinary symptoms can manifest as a perplexing complication of diverticulitis presenting challenges that extend beyond the primary digestive disturbances commonly associated with the condition. These symptoms, 
which include an increased urgency to urinate, painful urination, or blood in the urine, arise when the inflammation from the diverticula exerts pressure on the bladder or affects nearby urinary tract structures. The proximity of the colon to the urinary system means that severe or widespread inflammation can directly impact urinary function, leading to discomfort and an increased frequency of urination. Notably, these urinary disturbances are not standalone symptoms but are often accompanied by other indicators of diverticulitis, such as abdominal pain and changes in bowel habits. This interconnectedness underscores the complexity of diverticulitis and its ability to affect various bodily systems beyond the digestive tract. The onset of urinary symptoms in the context of diverticulitis should prompt immediate consultation with your physician, emphasizing the urgency of seeking medical attention. Number 5. Blood and Stool Discovering blood within your stool can be alarming and is a symptom of diverticulitis that demands immediate medical scrutiny. This occurrence points to a potentially severe facet of the condition, such as an infection that has escalated to cause bleeding or perforation within the colon. The visibility of blood whether it appears as bright red spots or a darker, tar-like consistency is a critical indicator of the health status of the digestive tract. In the context of diverticulitis, the inflammation and subsequent infection of the diverticula might erode into the colon wall, leading to bleeding. This symptom not only signifies the severity of the inflammation but may also herald the risk of significant complications that extend beyond discomfort and pain, potentially requiring urgent intervention. Individuals must understand that while blood in the stool can be symptomatic of various conditions, its association with diverticulitis underscores the necessity of thorough evaluation by your physician. Number 6. Nausea and Vomiting Nausea and vomiting, while distressing, are frequent occurrences when dealing with diverticulitis. These symptoms directly result from the body's response to the inflammation and infection within the colon. As the digestive system tries to cope with the irritants caused by the inflamed diverticula, it can lead to an upset stomach, resulting in feelings of nausea or the act of vomiting. These reactions are the body attempting to remove harmful substances from the stomach and intestines. The severity and frequency of nausea and vomiting can vary among individuals and may be influenced by the extent of the infection and the body's overall health. Sometimes, these symptoms can be exacerbated by eating certain foods that further irritate the already sensitive digestive tract. Therefore, identifying and avoiding trigger foods can be crucial in managing these uncomfortable symptoms. Additionally, staying hydrated is paramount, especially when experiencing vomiting, as it can quickly lead to dehydration. Small, frequent sips of water or an oral rehydration solution are recommended to replenish fluids and electrolytes lost during vomiting episodes. Lastly, feeling bloated. Bloating, a frequent complaint among individuals with diverticulitis, stems from the digestive disturbances the condition provokes. This uncomfortable sensation often results from an accumulation of gas and fluid, exacerbating the sense of fullness and distension in the abdomen. The inflammation and infection responsible for diverticulitis disrupt normal gut function, leading to an imbalance in the digestive process and, subsequently, bloating. It's advisable to monitor one's diet closely to manage this symptom. Certain foods, such as legumes, onions, and cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cabbage, are known to increase gas production and might need to be limited or avoided. Similarly, Carbonated drinks can introduce excess air into the digestive system, increasing bloating and discomfort. Opting for smaller, more frequent meals can also reduce the workload on the digestive system, potentially minimizing bloating. Engaging in gentle, regular physical activity is another beneficial strategy. Movement can help stimulate the digestive system, promoting gas passage through the intestines and reducing bloating. Additionally, ensuring adequate hydration is essential as water can help facilitate digestion and prevent constipation, which can further contribute to bloating. In summary, understanding the signs and symptoms of diverticulitis is crucial for early detection and effective management. Recognizing these signs and knowing why they occur helps in seeking timely medical attention and making lifestyle changes to reduce the risk of complications. This video is for educational purposes only. Please speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you never miss a video. We wish you all the best for your health and well-being.